After arriving at the bus terminal, Percy ditches Grover and departs for home on his own. Before entering the apartment, he tells readers about his mother, Sally Jackson. She is the best person Percy knows, despite some unfortunate circumstances in her life. Percy's father was the only great break she received, although they never married, and Percy has no memories of him before he left for an ocean voyage. Sally later married Gabe, whom Percy refers to as Smelly Gabe, the world-class jerk. Inside the apartment, Smelly Gabe rudely welcomes Percy home and Percy storms upstairs to his bedroom. He is later comforted by his mother who gives him the exciting news about taking a trip to Montauk Beach, where she met his father. As they are leaving for their trip, Smelly Gabe warns Percy not to damage his car. While at the beach, Sally answers some of Percy's questions about his father. He learns that his father wanted to send him to a special camp, but Sally couldn't bring herself to take him there. That night, a knock on the door amidst the hurricane brewing outside wakes Percy and Sally. Sally opens the door to Grover, who says he has been searching all night for Percy since losing him at the bus terminal. Sally is not fazed by Grover's presence other than why he came and demands that Percy tell her everything that happened at Yancey and at the museum. After Percy finishes telling his mother everything, the three of them run to the car where Percy notices Grover has hooves for feet.